Hey you guys, what is up? My name is Jason and I'm back to you with another tutorial. This one is on how to create pixel art for pixel games. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So I'm on a site called pixelapp.com. It's spelled P-I-S-K-E-L-A-P-P.com. And this is a free online app that you can use through your browser. And what it is, is it's a pixel art creation app, and you can do everything from creating pixel art to creating animations with pixel art. So this is what we're gonna be using today. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to grab our pencil tool, which is this tool right here, it looks like a pencil. And what we can do with it is we can draw in a shape, whatever we want. So that's the basic idea of how the pencil tool works. Now. We can use our secondary color, which right now is transparent, and we're going to leave it that way because that way we can use our secondary color to erase by right-clicking and then using our pencil, and now we can erase this all away. Now, if we don't want to erase all of it away with the pencil tool, we can go ahead and use this select tool, and we're going to go ahead and select all of that and then hit delete, and that deletes all of that. So let's go ahead and let's get started with creating the outline for our character. So I think I want him to have really long legs and a pretty narrow body. And then for the head, we're gonna give him a little neck and maybe sort of a square for his head. Cool. Now let's give him some arms. So he's got his hands in sort of fists. Then he's gonna need his shoe. Great. Now let's go ahead and let's start adding some color in. So coming over here to where my colors are, we're going to add a new color palette and we're gonna select our colors. So first off, let's select a skin tone. So we'll come more towards the orange. So somewhere in there should be good. Then let's add a new color. And this new color, we're going to make a dark, dark blue. Almost a grayish blue. About there should be good. Then let's add a new one, and we're gonna make that about the same color, just a little bit darker. Now let's add another color, and this color is going to be red. And we don't want it to be completely saturated red, but we want it to be up towards the more saturated and lighter red color. So about there, and then we'll come up to the reds. Maybe a little bit more red. Great. Now let's add a brown color. We want this to be somewhat dark. So about there should be good. We'll go ahead and hit save. And now that we have our colors, we can go ahead and start filling our character in. So starting with the skin tone, we're gonna go ahead and fill in all the areas that would show his skin. Oops. Now let's go ahead and grab our red color and we're gonna fill in his sweater. And what we can do is we can grab our fill tool or our bucket tool and we can go ahead and fill in that area. Now be sure not to select this other fill tool because of what that will do is it will fill everything that's that same color. So if I fill in the skin tone, you see it fills in all the skin tones. So let's undo that. So make sure you're on the regular paint bucket. Then let's grab our dark blue color and we're gonna fill that in. Then let's grab our pencil and we'll grab our dark, dark blue color and we're gonna fill in his feet, like so. Now we're also going to fill in a shadow right here. Next, we're gonna grab our brown color and we're gonna add some hair to our character. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a line like that and maybe he's kind of got some sort of a Elvis hairdo going on here, like so. Now let's grab that skin tone again and let's give him an ear. Great, so now he's got an ear. 
Next, what we want to do is we want to add our highlights to our character. So we're going to come over to our color palette and we're going to click on this manage this palette, which is the little pencil icon. So starting with our skin tone color, we're going to add a new color and we want to bring up the lightness. So we're going to grab this slider right here and we're going to bring it up so it's a little bit lighter than our original skin tone. Now let's do the same for our blue color. We'll add a new one and slide it up more towards the light side. Great, now let's add a new color and this time we want it to be the red and we're gonna slide that more towards the light side and then let's just grab our brown color and we're going to bring that up more towards the light side also. About there should do. So let's go ahead and hit save and now we can start doing our highlights. So let's grab our light skin tone and we're gonna say that the sunlight is gonna be coming from this direction, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add some highlights on his face, like so. Highlight on his hand, like so. Maybe a little bit right there too. Great, now let's move on to our sweater color. So we're gonna grab our lighter red color and we're just gonna add the highlights where they're appropriate. Great. Now let's go ahead and let's grab our light blue color and we're gonna add the highlights to our legs. Like so. Awesome. Now lastly, let's add the highlights to his hair. Maybe let's undo that last one. All right, that looks good. Fantastic, great. You just created a character with pixel art. I hope this was fun for you and you learned something from it. Thanks for watching and have a great life. <music>